What is going on, everybody? My name is Bleeves. Right now, we want to talk about Ben Token. We want to talk about what is going on uh, with Ben Coin. I want to point out a few of the moves that have been made over the last little while. This week, we're going to get the AMA where we get the clarification on whether or not the, the V2 is launched in the next few days. I'm not sure if that's the case or not yet. Again, I want to stress, I am not an insider in Ben Coin. And uh, that being said, I do talk to Ben Armstrong on a personal level. Uh, I am in communication. However, I don't have inside details on what's going to happen. So all I can do is give you what I see on the chart. And when we look at this chart, we are seeing this thing playing out in this uh, descending wedge sort of pattern here. Uh, it did bounce off. And, and guys, this is a long-term thing. So um, there's going to be either uh, we're going to bounce down to the point of control, which is right here at 16, and then reverse back up. Or we could uh, be looking at printing a new point of control and moving back to where we were comfortable with the point of control earlier, which was in this 2000 range. So in the next few hours, uh, we should see either a move towards this or we're going to see a move back down here maybe bouncing off this, which by the way, would represent basically the heart line. And you, you will see like in this situation here, you saw a lot of movement near the heart line, uh, positive sentiment. Now, one of the things that I can point out this right here, uh, unforced error, uh, that was Ben, uh, unforced error here, that was Ben, unforced error here, that was Ben. So you, you, you do have these moves coming, but I think the moves now are going to reverse themselves. And I think, and, I, and don't hold me to this, guys, because this is still a volatile situation until we get uh, some clarity as to what is going on with BitBoy Crypto. There is some information that's probably going to be coming out. Uh, I did think it was coming out on Saturday, um, but that was just J-Chains. Uh, there, there is some more information that I think is going to be coming out very, very soon. So I would be keeping my eye out on that. Along with that, uh, you have the normal movement here uh, down 352,000 in trading volume, down about, <clears throat> I want to say about 150,000 in market cap. Uh, but here is where it gets interesting. New studio, new team, new direction, same me, new bull run. Uh, let's F and get it. The new ET, the new era begins today, 1130 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, crypto only for real, for real. Uh, they are moving on. This is now a managed show. This is a managed showcase of what is going on in cryptocurrency. So you're about to see a whole lot of change. And look, I will tell you, and I'll be perfectly honest with you. I did talk to Ben this weekend, and he is very, very pumped for what the future is going to hold uh, for Ben Coin specifically. He is he is super, super fired up over Ben Coin right now. And look, that has had to take a little bit of a backseat. Uh, we've got the man himself, actor Jason Crow. And guys, listen, um, for those of you that don't know, uh, Jason Crow and I have done now two movies together. And if the movies suck, it's Jason's fault because I killed it. And he, eh, you know what I mean? Uh, anyway, uh, so Jason Crow's in the house. This is the guy I do movies with. So uh, be looking for some movie Scream Dream and the Art of Killing should be coming uh, at some point over the next year or so. And uh, we may have more movies in the pipeline. You never really know because apparently uh, these guys like to kill me. So uh, we'll see what happens there. Uh, and uh, yeah, best of luck on me, but I, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to die every time. So, um, but moving on here, be everywhere now. Uh, you know, not a lot of activity right now because we're just waiting for this AMA to come out so that we can get some clarity on what is going on. Remember, Austin is leaving the team, but for now he is still on the team through the V2 launch. And um, there is some more, there is something else that's coming. Uh, but again, can't talk about that until it actually gets here. And then uh, to close that out, um, just a lot of, um, a, a lot going on in the background, uh, and, and we have Cassie out here retweeting some of the stuff with Ben. Now, these are signals that he's trying to give you uh, to let you know that they are questioning like where the money is at Hit Networks because they owe a lot of money uh, to uh, Ben. So if you guys are interested, then I would certainly uh, be checking this all out. Um, I, I'm, I'm completely fascinated by where this goes. I do think that Ben is ready to move on with uh, uh, with Bencoin. I, I do think that we are ready for that absolute move to a new level because I, I don't think that he wants to be part of that anymore. I think he really just wants at this point to move on. So with that, uh, remember, um, that was not financial advice.